In another video, I showed how to create function blocks that can be called in a program. So I use an example of converting inches to millimeters. And if you had some program where you need to do that repeatedly, you could create a function block and use that uh, several instances in your program. But let's assume that you've, you've got some custom function block that you want to use in any program, something that you use specifically for a piece of hardware, or you have uh, maybe a, a piece of code that you want to run in every program that you create, and you don't want to have to create that, that code over and over again. You can add those functions to a library and uh, then add that library to the repository in CodeAssist and be able to apply that to any program. So I'm going to show you how that works. First thing we'll do is we'll create a new project. And instead of choosing a project like we normally do, we're going to go into the library tab here and we want to create an empty library. And I'll give it a name. So now we have our program created, and this is a little bit different. Uh, we've got some different icons that we normally have, um, but it works more or less like any other Codasys project. Um, we will go ahead and add an object and add a POU. I'll call this one uh, inch to millimeter. And you want to make sure that this is a function block and you can choose any, um, any of the available programming types that you'd like. I'm going to go and use structured text for this one. And just like if we were creating a function block to be used locally, we have input and output variables. So I've gone ahead and created uh, an input variable and an output variable. So our input is inches, our output is millimeters, and then we can create some structured text to do the calculation. Okay, so I've got this uh, little calculation here to do the conversion. And when I save this, um, it'll say you're attempting to save a library, uh, but there's some missing information and you can choose yes to enter that information. So I'm going to enter uh, the information here and then click OK. Now there's this button here. We'll install the, the project we just created into the Codasys library repository. So I'm going to click that. And after a little while, uh, that'll complete. Now if I go to Tools, Library Repository, in the library repository, my new uh, library that I just created is going to be here under the miscellaneous category. And under this 3.5.20 is where I have uh, that custom function block. So if I create a new project, I'm just going to create a standard project and I'll name it demo. And I'll create the program in continuous function chart. And I'm going to open my PLC program and I'm going to just add a box and call that uh, inch to millimeters. So I have my my function block, but Codasys doesn't recognize this as a, a valid function. So we need to add uh, that library that we created to the library for this project. Um, so if we double click on library manager, add library, choose miscellaneous conversion functions. And now we have that library installed. So now that we have the library installed, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And I'll insert a new box. I will call this in underscore to underscore mm. And now Codasys recognizes that that is an available function block. And I'll just leave that name zero. Um, and it's going to create a variable using uh, this, this type. So that's in the, the library that we created. So then I can bring in my, my input and my output. And I can connect those and assign variables for the input and output. And I can call as many of these as I need to and as many POUs as I need to and 
this function block will be in uh, that common repository or the, the common library and I can use that in any other program as long as uh, I add it to the library, uh, the library manager for the specific project. Hopefully this helps and makes it easier as you're creating programs where you are repeating um, blocks of code in different places or multiple times in the same project or in multiple projects. Uh, you'll be able to create libraries of those functions and store them for future use.